Hey y'all, it's Eli. I'm gonna be showing you how to make the easiest homemade ramen today. So in every good bowl of ramen, there are soft boiled eggs. This is with the runny yolk. You can also make them with a set yolk. So I've got a pot of water boiling over here. I've got two eggs, just pulled them out of the fridge. They're ice cold. I'm gonna let them go for six minutes, exactly six minutes. And then I'm gonna take them out and put them in an ice bath. Next thing I'm gonna do is take a jug of store-bought chicken broth. This is, I think it's four cups. Yeah, four cups. Put it into a stock pot. I'm gonna put it on high so it gets up to temp. So now I'm gonna prep what I'm putting in with my stock to flavor it. I've got two big garlic cloves. I'm just gonna slice these. I'm not gonna dice them. But these are gonna be coming out of that stock. Next, I've got a ginger root. I'm just gonna peel this with a spoon. When you've got your ginger root peeled, slice it just like you did the garlic. When your stock has started boiling, you're gonna throw this in. If you like it a little bit more spicy, you could slice up like a, a chili pepper and put in there too. I don't like spicy stuff, so I'm leaving that out. I'm gonna slice up some mushrooms. It's just regular white mushrooms. Slice them however thick you want them. So I grilled off some chicken thighs earlier. I marinated this for 20 minutes in dark soy sauce, sesame oil, and rice wine vinegar, as well as about two teaspoons of brown sugar. If you've got mirin, you can substitute the rice wine vinegar and the brown sugar for that. I'm just gonna slice these up. It's been six minutes. I'm taking our eggs out, dumping them in an ice bath. Just gonna stop the cooking process and make them cool enough for us to peel. So into my water that's been boiling, I'm gonna throw in a bag of brown rice noodles. Cook it just as a package says. This says four to five minutes. So my stock is boiling. I'm gonna go ahead and throw in my garlic and ginger. I'm gonna let that boil for about 15 minutes. Alrighty y'all, after 15 minutes, pick through and get the garlic and the ginger out of your broth. You can strain it or just get a slotted spoon. Next, add in your mushrooms. Cook them for about five minutes. By the time these mushrooms are done, you're gonna have had time to peel your eggs, to get your noodles out of the water, get your bean sprouts, whatever toppings you wanna to put on here. So I'm going in the broth for five minutes with the mushrooms and then we're gonna put it together. Y'all, our stock is finished. This is beautiful. You could drink it just on its own. So you just need to grab you a bowl, a pair of tongs, Dip you some noodles out. Dip the noodles in the broth, swirl it around. Mm. I wish y'all could smell this. Grab you some kind of ladle. This stock is so rich. So 
I drained the can of bean sprouts. You don't have to cook these. They're going to have a nice bite to them. Put you some bean sprouts. I sliced up some scallions as well. I've got a piece of chicken here. I grilled it. So I soft boiled my egg. I've killed it. It's got some give to it. I'm going to cut it in half. That is a perfect soft boiled egg. Look at that. So I'm going to go right in the middle with our soft boiled egg. So the last thing I'm topping our ramen with is some sesame seeds. You can get these white or black or a mixture of both. I just always have white. There you have it, y'all. The most beautiful bowl of easy and cheap ramen you're ever going to have. Y'all, our bowl of ramen is finished. It looks amazing. It smells just as good. It's almost too pretty to eat. I'm going to see if I can get a bite of everything. Here, I got some egg. I got some mushroom. I got some bean sprout. I lost my egg. Some chicken. Some noodles. Come on. I got some of everything on that bat. That was out of this world. Just delicious. Mm. These noodle noodles. These noodles are so much better than what you get in the little yellow pack. That may be a little bit faster. This was still fast. It's delicious. It's cheap. Mmm. I don't think you could go wrong with this. You can add anything else you want in there, some broccoli, some carrots, anything. For what this costs, for what it is, how long it took me, you can't beat it. This is one of the best meals I've made. Hopefully you guys try some easy Raymond. Let me know if you do. As always, thanks for watching. Hey y'all, it's Eli. Whether you're here for my hair, my accent, or my cooking, please make sure you like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching Cooking for Everybody. Now everybody get cooking.